works. <sighs> Welcome. So this is Kundalini Yoga, and my name is Akasha Kirtikar. Um, this is this beautiful ancient yogic practice that will be combining breath work, meditation, uh, exercises, and some chanting that we do. And chanting helps to open up our upper chakras. So some chanting as well. Um, tonight, our focus is going to be, the theme of the class is grief and loss. So during this class, we're going to really get centered in our bodies, really get present in our bodies. And then we're going to do some meditation, a meditation to heal the broken heart, is what it's called. And we'll end our practice with some uh, chanting, also for that purpose. So let's get centered and we'll do a little breath work and then I'll talk more about what this practice is going to be like. Go ahead and find a nice tall seat. Find your sit bones on the ground. Lift up through the crown of your head. Let your chest lift. Let your eyes come up and in. Start to slow the breath. Bring your hands to your chest. Press your chest into your thumbs and your thumbs back into your sternum. Just breathe. Just notice for a minute what it feels like to breathe. Sometimes when we've experienced um, grief or loss, that kind of settles into our lungs and breathing can feel difficult. So maybe that's the case and maybe not. Just notice. And let's inhale to tune in. Inhale. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om your breath. Exhale, release your breath, release your hands. Ah. 
pausing for a moment and setting your intention. So if you have experienced grief or loss recently or that you're still working through, maybe your intention is to just allow those feelings, whatever your feelings are today, to be there. Maybe your intention is to take a little baby step towards healing or comfort. Grief or loss recently, then may I suggest that an intention could be to support those who have. So in every class, in every sort of spiritual community, we come together to support each other. And some days we give more and some days we take more. So maybe today you're showing up and you can be really present and have the intention of giving toward the people in our community who are suffering from loss. So with that intention, maybe keeping the eyes closed, bringing your right hand up and blocking your right nostril, making sure you're still sitting up straight and tall, and then start breathing, inhaling and exhaling through just your left nostril. Long and deep and slow. And maybe your left hand comes into Gyan Mudra, resting on the left knee. Left nostril breathing is a calming breath, lowers the blood pressure. It's that cool, feminine energy. And as you're breathing here, just continue breathing for a couple of minutes. Really breathing with your intention. Maybe there's one word that you can think of as you inhale and exhale, like heal or calm or support. And as you breathe and throughout the practice today, the invitation is to really allow whatever is to be. There's no right or wrong way to experience loss. And there's no one way to support. So if you notice any feelings arising, even if they're not what we would consider sort of yoga feelings, right? So if they're anger, frustration, uh, irritation, frustration, any feeling, let it be welcome. Just let it be, notice it. And then keep returning to that key word. 
Let that word be a meditation for a moment so that wherever your mind wanders, it just gently gets brought back to that word. Maybe you can even imagine that you're sort of vibrating that word so that that word heal or calm or whatever the word is travels through your whole body, up your spine. Notice the sensation of the breath as it moves through that left nostril. Feel the warm air coming in and the cooler air coming out. See if you can invite your lungs to fill all the way up on the inhale and empty completely on the exhale. Really letting your stomach go, not holding it in at all. So when things are painful, the natural tendency is to move out of our bodies, but our bodies are this really capable um, mechanism, gift to help us to process. So we just very gently, very lovingly, to the extent that we feel comfortable, move back into our body. Last minute here with this breath. Then inhale through both nostrils. Hold the breath for a moment. And then exhale, release, release the hands and just notice how you feel. And if you are here wanting that support, needing that support tonight, just pause and notice that feeling of support that's available to you, or just imagine that you can. Maybe even just imagining that there's a circle of people around you who love you. letting your eyes come open. So moving now into a physical practice for a moment. And this is a pretty physical practice that will just be for about 15 minutes. If you find that you're exhausted, which is a normal response to loss, then please take rest as often as you need to or change up the exercises any way you like. So the idea here is that we're going to really move down into our lower three chakras, especially down into our root. 
so that we can feel grounded and we can move into our bodies where the healing starts. So for this first exercise, you'll lie down on your back and your hands can be underneath your head, underneath your neck, or you can put your hands under your low back. Your legs, let's see, I can't tell if you can see my head when I lie down or not. <laughs> your legs will come up to 90 degrees on the inhale and then exhale as you lower them down. And for this one, you'll count out 27, 27 leg lifts, or about a minute and a half, and I'll let you know when that is. So go ahead and begin. So inhaling up, exhaling down. And another option here is you can always bend your knees and do just a little bit of a smaller motion as well. As you lower your legs, make sure that your low back presses down into the mat. So if you find your low back coming up, then bend your knees. Let your breath be powerful here. And maybe you have that mental mantra of your keyword for today, or maybe your mantra is that Sat Nam. Keep going. Just a few more seconds here. Inhale, suspend your breath, squeeze up on your root lock. Exhale, release, lower the legs. Just lie on your back for a moment and notice how you feel. Okay. So now, go ahead and roll onto your stomach, come onto hands and knees, and for this one, we'll move from triangle pose to cobra pose. So let me show you a couple of different ways this can look. One of them, you press up, and then lower down cobra, and we're just moving back and forth between these two. Another option is you can move from puppy pose. This is where the hips are lifted, the arms are extended out. Puppy pose to cobra. And just do 12 of these, 12 of these. So go ahead and begin. Keep going. So we're moving into our body. Move into your body. These exercises are really good for kind of forcing you into your body a little bit, right? Connect with that root chakra, that feeling of safety. You're here, you're held. Okay. 
When you finish your 12, you can just sit and relax. And then even if you are not done with the 12, go ahead and stop there. Pause and relax. And start with the easy stuff, right? We're gonna notice just the little stuff. Well, my heart rates faster or my arms feel warm. Okay, extending your legs straight out in front of you now. And then you'll grasp either knees, shins, ankles or big toes. You'll inhale in the up position with your chin slightly tucked in and exhale as you bend forward. We're going to do 54 of these. Go ahead and begin. breath, powerful breath. Listen to the sound of your breath. Whenever you get to 54, inhale, suspend the breath, squeeze your root lock, exhale, fold forward, suspend the breath, hold empty, squeeze root lock. Inhale up, close your eyes, relax and observe. Observe what's obvious and then observe what's just below the surface. Anything you notice, everything's welcome. Okay, moving now into rock pose. Sitting on your knees. Um, you can sit on a cushion if you like or you can always sit in easy pose if this is too much for your knees. Hands will come and interlace underneath your hair at your neck. Open your elbows out wide. Inhale as you twist left, exhale as you twist right. And this one will also do 54 times. 54 on each side. Sitting in rock pose, we're really connecting to our root chakra. So something that happens with our chakras, um, which I didn't fully understand until a little more recently, we can have our chakras open, have them not necessarily be blocked, be working our way up through our chakras, which is what happens naturally when we do yoga regularly. And then when we have a trauma, of whatever kind. Um, what can happen is that can move us all the way back down into our lower chakras. Now it doesn't mean that 
everywhere we, that we've been working, all the sort of ground we covered and all this work we've done on ourselves, it doesn't mean that it's out the window. It's all still there. Those are all still open. But our auras and our that, that change is always happening. And so it's a really good idea when we are experiencing any kind of um, shock or trauma or loss to move back to the basics. Start doing stuff right down at our root again. Ground yourself in that feeling of safety and work on those lower three chakras. Work through um, the energy of that loss. When you've reached your 54, come center, inhale. Suspend the breath, squeeze, root lock. Exhale, release. Just relax here in rock pose and observe. Connect for a moment with that root chakra. So just imagine that there's maybe a red color at the base of your spine. Maybe even imagine that that red turns into roots that grow all the way down into the ground. And imagine or sense that the very center of the earth is full of a light and feel yourself pulling up on that light, that nourishment, all the way up into that root chakra. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Come on to hands and knees now. For cat cow, 54. Inhale as you curl the spine, lift the head. Exhale as you round the spine, tuck the chin. Maybe start out slowly and then build speed. Feel the movement of your spine. Notice where you feel it muscularly. Notice the sensation of the palms of your hands pressing into the mat. The feeling of your feet. Be present with the sensations in your body. Be here. Move your breath. not holding anything, not holding on at all. You're not holding back a feeling. You're not holding back a thought. You're not holding back your breath. You're letting it move. Let it move. When you finish your 54, inhale in the up position, Suspend the breath, squeeze root lock. Exhale, curl the spine, tuck the chin, hold empty, squeeze root lock. Inhale, release. Come sitting down for a moment. Pause and observe. Feel your body. Connect with that red root chakra. Notice if anything's stirring. One of the reasons that we do yoga, we move the physical body, is because trauma gets stored in our, the cells of our body. 
If we do not move it, the memory of it holds. So let we move our bodies and we let all of that move too. We use the breath to help it. Now sitting back in rock pose on the knees again. This time rolling the neck. So chin to chest, right ear to right shoulder, and just around. And if your neck is feeling sensitive, don't push it. Just do little small circles. And do 26 of these in this direction. Keep your breath going. Keep your roots reaching down. Feel, are you noticing the way your neck feels? Are you feeling those muscles as they stretch and move? Keep going until you get to your own 26. When you get to your 26, come center, take a breath, and then begin 26 in the opposite direction. So left ear to left shoulder. Are you holding or are you letting it move? Okay, let it move, let it move. As you're breathing, let your rib cage move to the sides, front and back. Move it. And yeah, sometimes when we start to move things, we start to feel things. That's okay. Whenever you reach your 26, come center, inhale, squeeze your root lock, exhale, release, pause here, feel, allow. Whenever it starts to feel a bit too much or destabilizing, I want you to imagine reaching your roots down, pulling up from the center of the earth. And also imagine that circle of support all the way around you. That circle of support is all of your spiritual community. It's all of us. And it's all of the people that you love, living or not known or unknown. Feel your circle of support, feel your strength, your root. Feel stabilized.
Now staying in rock pose. Anytime this is too much for the knees, move into easy pose or stretch them out and then come back in. For this one, you'll bend at the waist. So you'll inhale up and exhale as you bend over to one side, back up, other arm comes up, bend over to the other side. So for this one, we're gonna do 26 again. This is working on your liver, your spleen, your colon, your whole eliminative system, which is your root chakra. Feel into the stretch. Not doing this robotically, noticing the sensation in your shoulder, noticing the sensation in your waist, feeling your feet on your sit bones near them. Feeling your breath, move your breath. Maybe returning back to that key word, that mental mantra. Whenever you finish your 26 on each side, come center, inhale, squeeze your root, exhale, relax, pause and notice. Let your rib cage move. Now, one more in rock pose here. You'll reach one hand out like you're grabbing for energy in front of you. The other hand is back at your side and then you'll alternate. So you're sort of churning your waist from side to side. This one we don't do for a specified number but for an amount of time. So I'll start our timer for us. And as we do this, we're gonna chant sa, ta, Na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma. Keep going. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma means the cycle of life, death, rebirth, and infinity. We are more than just this life. We are infinite. We are infinite. Feel as if you're reaching, reach for energy. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta. Na, ma, sa, ta, 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 na, ma. 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 Sa, ta, na, 
ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma, inhale, hold the breath, squeeze root lock, feel the reverberation of that mantra, exhale, release, notice, How does that mantra feel? Does that feel true? Believe those sensations. Believe those feelings. Come sitting into easy pose. So let's just shake the legs out, shake the knees a minute. Cross the legs. And then counterclockwise motion here, inhaling as you come forward and then go to your left counterclockwise. This one is timed, so we're just making big circles. Again, connecting with that root chakra. Move your breath. Maybe even connecting again with that Satanama mantra. Moving in this circle. Life, death, rebirth, infinity. Pull in strength through your breath. Come center, inhale, squeeze root lock, exhale, release, pause, ground down, root down. Imagine your support system around you.
Moving now into Shavasana. Now before you lie down, if you'd like to, if you have Spotify, I think you can even use it if you don't have Spotify, but um, you can click on the link that's in the description, that I hope is in the description, and you can listen to um, a gong recording, since we're not live and I can't play the gong for you in this moment. I'm gonna play it here really softly. You don't need to do that, but if you want to, you can. So lying down, let your hands come out to your side, let your palms face up, and cover yourself. Cover yourself. Let your eyes close, let your breathing become natural. Let yourself sleep if you can. Just rest.
deepen your breath. Notice what you feel in and around you. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Circle your hands, circle your feet. Inhale, stretch your arms up on the ground behind you, your legs out long. Exhale, bring your arms to the sides. Bring one knee in, draw it across the chest and twist, full body twist. Looking out over the opposite shoulder. And releasing that knee, bringing the opposite knee in across the chest. Full body twist. Coming back to center, rubbing the palms of your hands together and the soles of your feet together. Grasp the front of your shins, rock and roll several times on your spine. And then coming up to a seated position. Preparing for our meditation. So, this meditation is meditation to heal a broken heart. And what this does is it really taps into your nervous system. And it helps to soothe all of the nerves that hold the wound. And it also is going to directly affect your heart meridian. So soothing that heart space. And you'll find that it really helps to quell these big emotional storms that we feel. So for this practice, this meditation, you'll push your hands together just lightly. Palms are together lightly. And your middle finger, the Saturn finger will be at the level of your third eye, so that's in between your eyebrows. Your elbows will lift so that your forearms are parallel to the ground. Yes. And then there's no specified eye gaze and there's no specified breath pattern. And the only instruction here is to just look within. So as we do this, I'm going to play another thing from that playlist just really softly in the background, which is these, um, these Tibetan singing bowls. So go ahead and begin. palms maybe to start with looking in just as noticing the way your body feels in this moment and in each moment
maybe it's looking at your thoughts, noticing. Noticing your feelings. So just keep bringing yourself back to looking within. Anytime you feel yourself looking without, pull it back in, drop deeper.
Inhale, exhale. Now interlace your fingers, bring them up over your head. We'll stretch here. You can stretch a little from side to side. We'll be here for about a minute. Pitch, stretch through the hands, stretch. And exhale, release your hands. Relax your breath. Just observe. Take your legs out. To close tonight, we'll do about five or six minutes of chanting. And this chant is a call. And this is a chant that we do to help um, loved ones after they pass. And it's also a chant for those of us who, who are experiencing the loss here to help us to release, to heal, to let go when we feel ready. So for this, you can either put your hands in Gyan Mudra, resting at your knees, or you can place your left hand and then your right hand on top of it at your heart. And again, moving into either that role of receiving, if you would benefit from comfort, or of supporting, giving that comfort and that support and that love. And dedicating this on behalf of the people that we love whom we have lost. I'm just going to start the the music, which is the last song on that playlist, if you're following along, of Feel Call. having a little bit of trouble getting it playing. So just thinking for a moment, maybe even just with your hands on your heart, connecting with that feeling of support. Just going to do it without the music here. A call. A call. A call. A 
Imagine you can hear all of our voices. Last one. 
Sense this love, sense this support. Be aware of everything that is available to you to be aware of. Feel it, sense it, believe it. Exhale. We'll close with the long time sun song. Hands at your heart. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. The pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you. The pure light within you. Guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you. All love surround you and the pure light within you. Guide your way. Guide your way on, Sadna. remember that you are infinite and that you are loved.